Hello, welcome back to the Bag Hag Digest. Hello, beautiful bag lovers. It's Trina again with another episode of me coming at you with another bag review. I recently uh, celebrated a milestone, my 50th birthday. Ah, oh, the time do fly, don't she? And to celebrate the occasion, of course, I bought myself another bag, didn't I? But I have been selling a few too, so it's kind of one in, one out. I like that method of doing things. Um, this one is something that I really didn't need because I was already in possession of this lovely little camera bag from J. Crew, the Signet bag. This was my first YouTube video less than a year ago, and I still highly recommend this bag. It's proved invaluable to me, but I've upgraded her a little bit. So what I got was a higher end bag from Chloe, and this is it. It's a Chloe camera bag, pretty basic number. It came with straps, I'll show them here. This strap was basically too short. It's only a shoulder number. If I put it crossbody, it just basically goes up to my boobs. Not my thing, although it does match the bag with the beige stripe here. I just decided to, with much painstaking deliberation, take it off. It wasn't easy to take off, but it did come off without any damage. So I'm gonna just sort of put this one away. Replacing that strap is a nylon and leather strap with a black hardware that I purchased secondhand from Mercury for just 600 yen which is great and this bag will be, uh, this strap, sorry, will be fantastic because it's with black hardware, it can go with silver and gold and I can mix it up with my other bags. So I'm happy I got this. Although what I did find out that I didn't realize is that this strap here from my uh, Signet bag can also be removed and put on the new number that I got here. So lots of possibilities with the bag. Should I keep this bag? Now that I have upgraded to this one, I'm not sure yet to be honest because they serve, they will serve different uses. But do I need two black camera bags? I don't know. Want to keep it minimalist. The reason I got this new Chloe bag was because I had been eyeing it for over a year and this is before I even purchased this little signet bag and I was thinking to myself, wow, I, I really want it but the price was a little bit out of what I wanted to pay for the bag and with the straps, I just couldn't bring myself around to getting it and on my birthday, I happened to be browsing through the store thinking, ooh, I'd like to do some shopping perhaps in this thrift store and found this bag again and it had been reduced in price significantly so I thought what the heck I'll dive in and purchase it and wow I do not regret it it's really really the quality you know this one's fantastic but compared to this one yeah you, you do get what you pay for and the, the irony is that I think I paid less for this one uh, secondhand than you can get this one for retail so if you look around thrifting there's a reason for doing it now this is a vintage item I think now probably I'm guessing from the 90s I don't know I couldn't find any labeling uh, information on it although I did find some tags this does come with some authentication tags it says that it's B1F2V7, but it doesn't say the date anywhere, so I really don't know when this was created. Also, the bag was a little musty when it came, but I've since gotten rid of that must by doing my baking uh, powder and perfume treatment, so I've dealt with that. And the strap is issue has been remedied, and now it looks really ultra sporty and light, and I love it. The downside compared to this bag is that it doesn't have any exterior pockets. Um, however, it's pretty easy to get in and out of this one. Another reason why I wanted to buy this bag in addition to having lusted after it for so long and it being my birthday was because I had found that using this for travel was sometimes a little difficult because of all the things I wanted to carry with me, specifically the vlogging camera I'm using now to film this. When I put that in here, everything was really jam-packed and there was not much room for else. And also for my day-to-day -day, uh, needs, I wanted to be able to carry a little more odds and ends. So this bag um, fits everything I need with room to spare. Um, so just a little bit bigger uh, can make a big difference. 
And I like the structure of this too. It's a sturdier, harder level. This gets kind of soft. I've got both bags stuffed at the moment, but I find that, uh, I don't know, when it's when there's nothing, not much in here, it still holds its structure, whereas this particular one from J. Crew tends to get all floppy. So there's that. Um, however, this one looks really cute and, and compact, and if I'm carrying less, this is still a better bag, I think. I, I'm gonna have to wait on this and decide. And I also wanna keep this bag, um, not because it's another version, but also because the strap can be used. I've ranted about this before in my video on this, which I'll post below, that this strap is really the perfect length. It's a hard to come by straps that can be adjusted to this length um, for taller and larger ladies. Um, however, if you get like a nylon adjustable strap, which is a lot sportier and therefore not as refined, um, you, you have no problem. These straps are always long enough, but I wear it pretty long as you can see. I don't know what the full length is. I like to wear my crossbody bags at about 140 centimeters around for the small bags anyway. So the layout of this bag inside is pretty much the same as the uh, J. Crew Signet bag. Um, it's got one slip pocket on the side and one big open space. However, the Signet bag does have an extra zippered interior compartment as well as the side pocket. So minus points to that, I suppose, but uh, usually I carry bags with a bag, so I'm not, I don't feel I'm missing out on having the extra compartment as of yet. This uh, Chloe bag also came with this cute little clay that I could use to put things, but I think I'm gonna sell this because I prefer my Louis Vuitton ones and I don't need uh, extra stuff that I'm not gonna use. And I could probably recoup some of the uh, money I spent on the bag by selling this item. I've been using this bag for a few weeks now and I have to say that yes, I do love it. Yes, I do recommend it. The only thing is I don't think you'll be able to easily find this little guy. At least I haven't been able to find it. Um, it's definitely not on sale on the website now, and I haven't even found other pictures of it on the internet, uh, which is a shame because this is a fantastic camera bag. It's the best looking camera bag I've found so far. It's not completely square, it's got rounded edges, but it, and it sort of tapers upward. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put some model shots for you. I think that everybody should have camera bag in their bag collection because these guys have some structure, semi-structure, sometimes hard structure that makes the bag look good. Um, depending on the straps you have, they can look casual or dressed up. And the wonderful thing about them is that they hold so much and yet they belie that. I love bags that can look really compact and yet uh, offer a lot of versatility in what they can hold in them. So, and they look pretty chic too. Um, camera bags are wonderful. I know that Marc Jacobs has this trend going on now with these uber small camera bags with these kind of funky um, uh, guitar strap bags with all different uh, decorations on them. I prefer simple, as you probably know by now, um, because it's just more versatile. But um, yeah, the wonderful thing about having bags with just these D-rings on them too is that you can switch out straps and uh, get more functionality out of your bags. So that is my reveal and review of this wonderful Chloe camera bag and comparison to the J. Crew Signet bag. Um, if you're looking for a camera bag and don't want to drop the coin to get a Gucci bag, because the Soho Gucci bags are still trending, unbelievably so, but for a reason, then I recommend you get yourself uh, one of these because they're still widely available. I think you can get them on Amazon for less than 50 bucks some places, they're probably not in mint condition. Or you can see if you can't get another brand that is a bit higher end, like this beautiful Chloe bag. That is it for me, you guys. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe, darlings, if you're not already. And we'll see you in the next round. Bag Hag, signing out. Mwah.